the Navy envisions its next-generation nuclear-powered attack submarine to be the ultimate apex predator, according to officials. Known as the SSNX, the future platform will combine the Virginia-class submarine's acoustics and sensors, the Seawolf-class payload and speed and the Columbia-class projected operational availability, said Rear ADM Bill Houston, director of the Undersea Warfare Division in the Office of the Chief of Naval Operations. It really needs to be ready for major combat operations, he said during a panel discussion hosted by the Navy League in July. It's going to need to be able to go behind enemy lines and deliver that punch that is going to really, really establish your primacy. It takes a significant amount of time and effort for that rdt and &E to develop this apex predator, he said. It's a daunting task, but the team is more than capable of doing it. The Navy wants to begin procuring the new class of subs beginning in fiscal year 2031, according to the Congressional Research Service. Kevin Graney, president of General Dynamics Electric Boat, said his conversations with Navy leadership have included mentions of speed and acoustic superiority when it comes to the SSNX. However, the requirements for the submarine have yet to be confirmed. Electric Boat is one of only two shipyards in the country capable of building nuclear-powered vessels, according to CRS the other builder is Huntington Ingalls Industries, Newport News Shipbuilding. Rear ADM Jeffrey Jablin, commander of the submarine force for U.S. Pacific Fleet, said growing the attack submarine inventory will reduce pressure on the fleet, enabling vessels to undergo maintenance and be used for sailor training. Battle Force 2045, a vision for the future Navy released under former Secretary of Defense Mark Esper, called for the attack subfleet to increase from approximately 50 boats to around 70. The size of the force only adds goodness to my job to prepare the force for major combat operations and also gives the combatant commanders more flexibility and operational management flexibility, Jablin said.